Hi, everybody. I'm speaking today on behalf of my co-administrators, Kai Blaine and Romain balz about the Google Summer of Code program. Um, Google Summer of Code uh, is uh, obviously perhaps a very well-known brand that brings uh, university students and open source and a very vital ingredient called money together. <laughs> I'm a big fan of uh, people doing things and getting paid for it, so obviously I'm enthusiastic about this. Um, so uh, this presentation, which is stolen from Kai, uh, but I did update because he gave me his Jupyter notebook for the, the slide, so yay for reuse. Um, it, so this is looking at the Google Summer of Code program overall, and I was really blown away by this. 13,000 students over the years paid to work on open source, and a lot of that scientific open source projects. Um, the students work uh, during the nor what we call in the Northern Hemisphere the summer months, um, and the goal is to get them experience doing something, but also kind of paid for their time. Um, uh, wisely, many scientific and academic or oriented organizations have used this to help improve some scientific software, and the Open Bioinformatics Foundation is, uh, is one of them. So uh, OPF has participated seven times. There were two years they didn't get accepted. We're not going to talk about that. Uh, but we're pretty happy that we got uh, six uh, slots this year as well. And so let's look into that. So, sorry, let's review last year's. Um, we had uh, Mavendra, Mariana, Tiago, Mani Kumar, Kapi, Dimitris, Christian, and Mikos. Uh, and I could, I could, let me read through these project names. So, uh, of course, I know about Mavendra's work adding Python 3 compatibility and improving our typing support, that was pretty great. Um, oh, there's a typo, it's Kapil Kumar, so that's embarrassing. He was my student as well. Um, that, that was the big one, right? So the CWL reference runner now works, uh, works because of that on Windows. What? I said no, never, and we made it work with the magic of Docker. So that was pretty great. Uh, and a smash moved to a uh, template system, worked on by Mariana, and I know there was a lot of improvements made to Bionode Watermill by Tiago. Another anti-smash project uh, was a refactor about their uh, access layer um, by Manny Kumar. And then uh, the ET tree matcher got some improvements by Demetrius. Um, I don't know what Christian did for the gene network gene, genome browsers. I'm not going to pretend, but I bet it was great because the past evaluations. Um, and then I know yeah, Nikos uh, did some algorithmic work. So what's nice seeing here is we're, we're seeing students who are making maybe deep algorithmic changes. It's an area of their research. Maybe they're making more generalized software engineering improvements to a project. Um, oftentimes, they're maybe familiar with the field of bioinformatics and the project, or maybe they're quite new. So it's a way to engage um, additional learners and maybe uh, make a career change. Um, so for 2018, um, we've got these projects. Uh, so I'm not going to go through them all, but we, we see BioGS with front and back end. We heard about uh, from an earlier talk about the research object support for NextFlow. I know uh, Edgar's been watching the, the tweet stream. Um, and then uh, another BioNode watermill uh, task with Hitesh and Sophia Mersman on peptide of the search engine results, so improving the algorithm there. And let me just say these names. I think it's important to say people's names now. Sarthik Segal, Meg Thacker, and Sinkon Mandal. So we want to thank all our students who are hardworking. They passed their midterm reviews. They're currently working right now. The mentors are reviewing their work. And speaking of the mentors, let's talk about that. So we're not just going to give the students a project and some money and leave them be. Core aspect of this is that there is you know, members from the project who are mentoring them, helping them out, growing their their open source skills, right? That's not just programming, that's communicating and blogging, and also growing um, their, you know, their technology skills in that bioinformatics area as well. Mentoring is actually kind of a lot of work, and that's actually where we need everybody in this room as we look forward to 2019. Think about your open source projects. Think about a chunk of work that you could set aside. Uh, maybe it's something you could do yourself, but somebody else could do and really learn and improve and grow your community. So does that mean my time is up? Um, but there's your URL, and we look forward to seeing all of you. Give us good suggestions, send us good students, and uh, help us out. So thanks, Google, and thanks to all of these people. Cheers. <laughs>